in question number 1 2 3 choose the correct option and give justification first question from a point q the length of tangent to the circle is 24 centimeters and the distance of t from the center is 25 centimeters then find the radius of circle now moving on to solution for the first one here the length of tangent from point q is given as 24 centimeters that is qt is given as 24 centimeters and the distance of t from center is given as 25 centimeters that is ot is given as 25 centimeters then he asked us to find the radius here the radius is nothing but oq now we know that a tangent at point to a circle is always perpendicular to line joining center and the two point therefore here angle oqt will be equal to 90 degrees and from this we can say that oqt is right triangle now by applying the pythagoras theorem here we get ot square is equal to oq square plus qt square that implies ot square here is 25 square that is equal to oq square which is nothing but r square plus qt square is 24 square that implies 25 square is nothing but 625 is equal to r square plus 24 square is 576 which implies r square is equal to 625 minus 576 that is 45 therefore we get r is equal to root of 49 that is 7 centimeters therefore our option a is correct choice now moving on to second question in figure 10.11 if tp and tq are two tangents to a circle with center o so that angle pvoq is equal to 110 degrees then angle ptq is equal to now moving on to solution for the second bit here angle p o q is given as 110 degrees and ask us to find angle p t q let it be as x now we know that at the point of contact the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent therefore angle o p t is equal to 90 degrees and also angle o q t is equal to 90 degrees now if we observe the figure clearly we know that a quadrilateral is formed by p o q t line segments that is p o q t here is a quadrilateral in quadrilateral we know that sum of angles is equal to 360 degrees which implies angle P plus angle O plus angle Q plus angle T is equal to 360 degrees which implies angle P here is 90 degrees plus angle O is angle POQ that is 110 degrees plus angle Q is 90 degrees again plus angle T is X which is equal to 360 degrees that implies 90 plus 90 is 180 and 180 plus 110 is 290 so here left hand side becomes 290 plus x is equal to 360 degrees which implies x is equal to 360 degrees minus 290 degrees that is nothing but 70 degrees therefore in the second question option b is the 70 degrees and that is our choice Coming to the third question, if tangents PA and PB from a point P to the circle with center O are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degrees, then angle POA is equal to, now moving on to solution, let us consider a circle with two tangents from P are drawn that are 
PA and PB. Let O be the center of circle. Let us join the OA and OB. Here the angle of inclination of tangents is given as 80 degrees and asked us to find angle POA. Here let us note on the given information that is angle APB is given as 80 degrees and we know radius and the tangent are always perpendicular to each other so we can say angle OAP is equal to angle OBP is equal to 90 degrees let us initially find the angle AOB as we know that AOBP here forms a quadrilateral sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees which implies angle A plus angle B plus angle P plus angle AOB is equal to 360 degrees that implies angle A here is 90 degrees plus angle B here is also 90 degrees plus angle P here is 80 degrees plus angle AOB is equal to 360 degrees which implies 90 degrees plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees 180 degrees plus 80 degrees is 260 degrees plus angle AOB is equal to 360 degrees which implies angle AOB is equal to 360 degrees minus 260 degrees which is nothing but 100 degrees if PA and PB are tangents to the circle with center O then OP bisects angle AOB therefore angle POA will be equal to angle POB which will be equal to half of angle AOB since it bisects angle AOB that is equal to half of angle AOB here is 100 degrees that is equal to 50 degrees therefore angle POA is equal to 50 degrees option A is correct moving on to the fourth question prove that tangents drawn at the end of the diameter of the circle are parallel moving on to solution let us consider a circle with the tangents drawn as shown in figure the circle has center O and here CD and AB or tangents at ends of diameter now if we consider CD as a tangent we know that tangents obtains an angle with the radius at the point of contact is 90 degrees therefore here angle OQC is equal to 90 degrees and if we consider AB as tangent at the point of contact P AB subtends angle 90 degrees with the OP therefore here angle OPB is equal to 90 degrees so as from 1 and 2 we can say that angle OQC is equal to angle OPB that is if we consider CD and AB are two lines and PQ as transversal here alternate angles are equal therefore we can say the lines AB and CD are parallel to each other therefore finally we can conclude that tangents drawn at the ends of diameter or parallel now moving on to a fifth question prove that perpendicular at a point of contact to the tangent to a circle passes through the center now moving on to solution let us consider a circle with the tangent drawn and also from the point of contact a line is drawn towards its center we know that at the point of contact the tangent 
to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius and as we know that radius is defined as line joining center and point on the circle the radius which is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact passes through center Moving on to sixth question, the length of tangent from a point A at a distance 5 cm from the center of the circle is 4 cm. Find the radius of the circle. Now moving on to solution. Let us consider a circle with the tangent drawn. Let us consider a circle with center O and from A a tangent is drawn that is AB. He says that length of tangent from a point A at the distance of 5 cm from the center that is OA here is given as 5 cm. So here the length of the tangent of the circle is 4 cm. Therefore we can say AB is here given as 4 cm. Then he is asking what about the radius that is nothing but OB. Let it be as R centimeters. So here OA is given as 5 centimeters. AB is given as 4 centimeters. We need to find the OB value. In a circle we know that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. Therefore we can say OB is perpendicular to AB here that is nothing but angle OBA is equal to 90 degrees therefore by Pythagoras theorem in triangle OBA or OAB OA square is equal to AB square plus OB square which implies OA square is nothing but phi square that is equal to AB square which is nothing but 4 square plus OB square here is R square that implies phi square is 25 and 4 square is 16 plus R square that implies R square is equal to 25 minus 16 that is nothing but 9 which implies R is equal to root of 9 that is nothing but 3 centimeters therefore the radius of circle given will be 3 centimeters moving on to seventh question Two concentric circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm find the length of chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. Now moving on to solution. Let us consider two concentric circles that is with center O and radius of each of the circles are 3 cm and the other one is 5 centimeters. So initially let us know what are concentric circles. We know that concentric circles are the circles which have same center. Therefore here O is the common center for both the concentric circles. The radius of the first concentric circle be R which is equal to 3 centimeters and let capital R be 5 centimeters which is the radius of the larger one as shown in figure now let us consider only the center point O he is asking length of chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle that means the chord of larger circle that touching the smaller circle will be nothing but the tangent to the smaller circle so let us draw the tangent to the smaller circle that passes through point P and let PQ be the chord 
let PQ be the chord that touches the smaller circle in one point. Now the point where chord intersects smaller circle be T. Therefore T be the point where smaller circle is intersected by chord PQ. Now let us join OT and also join OP and OQ. Now we know that OT is the radius of the smaller circle that is 3 centimeters and OP is nothing but the radius of the larger circle that is 5 centimeters. We know PQ is equal to PT plus TQ as we know that here OT is bisecting PQ we can say PQ can be written as 2 times PT. Now if we consider in triangle OPT OT is perpendicular to PQ since we know that angle between the radius and the tangent will be 90 degrees. Therefore now by applying the Pythagoras theorem in OPT triangle we get OP square is equal to OT square plus PT square here we need to find the PT value which implies OP square here is nothing but phi square which is equal to OT square here is nothing but 3 square plus PT square that implies PT square is equal to phi square is 25 minus 3 square is 9 that is equal to 16 that implies PT is equal to square root of 16 which is 4 centimeters but we need to find the PQ length that is PQ length is equal to 2 times PT which is nothing but 2 times 4 centimeters that is nothing but 8 centimeters therefore the required length of chord is 8 centimeters